same as it was. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Could you guys imagine the MCU trying to pull off Marvel zombies in a future movie or a future movie series? I mean, I think the idea is really, really funny because of the fact that the actual story Marvel Zombies is a really funny and entertaining one. But the problem with this is that you would have to turn a lot of the Marvel characters that we've come in to love and enjoy, you'd have to turn them into zombies and that more than likely will never be made not only because zombies in and of themselves have become stale for the most part but a huge part of the reason that we go see these movies is to see these characters and their characterizations intermingle and in action we don't want to see a bunch of brain dead zombies of actors we really like in future MCU movies but I don't think that this is such a bad idea and I don't think that this is such a far-fetched one either because if the MCU has taught us anything, they've taught us that anything is up for grabs. But one franchise that is not shying away from Marvel Zombies is Dragon Ball. Today I have a new Dragon Ball fan manga and this one pits Goku and Vegeta against the Marvel Zombies. Now this story is in French and I've taken French before but my French is not that good so I decided to enlist the help of Google to translate most of the story and they are rough translations I am an amateur translator but I think I got the gist of it so let's begin this story. We begin with Goku striking a charging Hulk with a Kamehameha wave blasting him away as he is consumed in flames and we see Goku here pretty confident in his abilities and confident in himself that he probably just took down the Hulk. And it does look like the Kamehameha wave really did some damage to the Hulk. I mean, look at his chest. His chest is exposed. But to Goku's shock, the Hulk gets up and it looks like he is regenerating. And he says, Hulk has a headache. Hulk is not happy. Then the Hulk says, Hulk does not like what he looks like. It's not going to help him conquer girls. And again, it's keeping that humorous Marvel zombies writing and Goku can only respond with hmm I see you're very persistent and at this point he gets charged by a zombie Wolverine whose face seems to have melted off and I gotta say Wolverine looks quite a lot bigger than Goku in this shot which I think is a really interesting and cool detail. Wolverine grabs Goku clutching his claws right through Goku's gi and he is stopped by Vegeta who tells Wolverine that Kakarot is not for you, you disgusting corpse. Seeing that Wolverine was distracted, Goku uses this shot to kick Wolverine right in the face, ripping his arm off and his jaw. Vegeta asks Goku what on earth is going on and asks him where they are and Goku responds with, I do not know Vegeta. I found myself here all at once without being able to explain it. So he has no idea why he's there. And so Vegeta, brushing that aside, decides he's going to deal with the matter at hand and he says, no matter, I take care of this big green thing. And he stops a full on punch from Zombie Hulk. Goku turns around to see zombie spider-man zombie thing and a zombie wolverine standing right before him and he finally realizes that these are zombies vegeta turns super saiyan and blasts the hulk with a big bang attack looking quite pleased with himself and then he turns around to see that the thing spider-man and wolverine have all grabbed goku who warns Vegeta that these creatures are stealing the vital energy off living beings. But before Vegeta can really process this information, Zombie Hulk grabs Vegeta by the face and looks like he's draining Vegeta's life essence to heal himself. And Goku tries to charge in and save Vegeta, but Spider-Man uses his webs to grab Goku and hold him down. And 
these abilities, these are what really make zombie Marvel characters extremely terrifying and this is where this comic ends. Ultimately, I think that the artists did a really good job making the Marvel zombie characters look like they did in the actual comic book and definitely made a good transition with Goku and Vegeta drawing them in this style so they can look like they're actually in this world. If there is a part 2, what I would really like to see is a zombie version of either Vegeta or Goku that either the other one has to fight. I think that would be really, really cool. Other than that, that's all I got for you today. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.